Today I'm talking to James from Tape Deck Reviews, who on Sunday was in the largest legal crowd in the UK in over a year at the Sefton Park pilot gig watching Blossoms, The Lathams and Zuzu. So this was billed, billed as no social distancing and no masks inside the tent, a show to help open up live music. And tickets were only available to residents of the Liverpool city region and there were 5,000 sold. So first, let's just go with, how was it? It was like COVID never existed. I got, I got into a mosh pit. I finally got to listen to live music after a year. I was happy, I was on my element. Like, I, I loved it, every minute of it. Were there prep what were the preparations beforehand, like with tests, etc.? So um, when you booked the ticket, um, initially they were like really strict in what happened. So the day before you had to go for a lateral flow test, but not a home kit, you had to go inside of like a certain designated area. Mm -hmm. So I traveled um, to Liverpool to get a test. Um, and there they would give you the, the actual test and they give you some PCR tests. The PCR tests are like the usual lateral flow test. They, you put up your nose, you not in your mouth, but it's bigger and it gets sent to a lab in a post box and it's more accurate. Um, so I'm still waiting to hear back on them. That's for the feedback to see if I actually got code from the event. Which I still don't know, but um, yeah, that I think this like setting it up was really like it was tight. Like they made sure it it was they made sure it was as safe as possible because it was reported that around five hundred people tested um, positive, like before like before the event. So I mean, I'm glad it actually worked, which is good. And you were right at barrier, weren't you? Yeah, Brett Barrier. Um, load of ugly photos of me dancing, singing to music, sweaty, stood up for eight hours, needing the toilet. Beautiful photos. Saw them on every single news article. Mm -hmm. I bet. I bet that was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Did you have... No, but yeah. Oh, pardon. Okay. Sorry. You there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it, 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 was, it was nice to be at the front because usually um, I, I, I camp outside before and a few hours with me and my friend when we go. Mm -hmm. um, so we got there four hours early. You know, why not? Why not? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's it's the first gig back. You've got to make it worth it. By 100%. Getting <laughs> Did you have any doubts before you booked or was it a no-brainer you were going? Uh, well, fun funnily enough, I've got the Latham's, um tweets on notification. Mm -hmm. And I woke up one morning, I think it was a Saturday or something, and I saw a, it, it said, oh, playing in Sefton Park with the Blossoms and Zuzu. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, it may, it must mean next year. And it said May 2021, pilot gig. I was like, what? What? <laughs> and I, I researched it all. I was like, wait, am I in the Liverpool city region? Because I don't live in Liverpool. I live um, across the water in Wirral. So I had to like double check with everyone that, that I technically class to get in. Um, I booked it in the first minute and sent my, my mate the ticket in the first minute. And we got it in like the first minutes. And there, there was a no-brainer. I had no clue what my parents would think of me going. No clue if I had any plans on that day. I was like, I I'm sorry, I've got to go. This, this, this means way too much for me in the industry I'm in. Did you get any worries or doubts closer to the gig, the nearer it got? Or were you confident the whole time? Um, well, I had two doubts. One was I was scared I was going to get COVID and I couldn't go. Like the one I, I was like every, like every time I went out to college or was out with a friend, I would just feel like right. I need to make sure I'm actually doing like practicing distancing even more because I did. Not, I actually I really wanted to go to the event, and I would have been absolutely gutted if you know I, I wasn't able to go. Yeah. And I didn't really have a doubt um, per se of going, but I did have like little doubts thinking: Is it gonna get cancelled? If the, if the rates rise, will it go ahead? But my ticket was cancelled originally. Mm -hmm. um, I was alongside a hundred other people whose tickets were cancelled because we put the wrong date of birth in. Oh, I, I've, I have no clue how. I have no clue that happened. Like, I, 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 I got a text and was like, have you got to be kidding me? Have you, have you got to be kidding me? And luckily, luckily they, um, they got it sorted quickly. But they sent the message out on a Sunday, 10 minutes for their services close. And the tickets were refunded on a Thursday. So... They told us days, like days after. So we were all like, oh, this isn't good. But luckily, it, it got sorted quickly and all my doubts went. And I was just anxious for a festival. Mm -hmm. And how well was it managed with like drinks and toilets and stuff? Did you feel safe within the plans of what the festival set out to achieve? And um, the one thing I want to highlight in this interview 
is how amazing the staff were here. I think like out like out of all the festivals and gigs and events I've been to, these have been some of the most attentive staff. Like when I got there, like me, me and my friend, we had chats with the staff members. They were they knew what was going on, they were on it, they knew every rule, they understood the whole mass thing. Um the toilet situation though, that was perfect. The so what happened was the it was in the corner of the tent. Um and you had to go outside. And what there was, there was around maybe twenty cubicles, a girl's bit, a boy's bit, and there were like these giant pocket urinals um but the toilet the toilets are fine there was hand sanitizer um there that was at like almost every entry point but just, that was like a peace of mind and before you went to the bar there was hand sanitizer and there was a um, certain place you had to queue for it but it, it it was definitely no covid restrictions like you know for example if you go to the shops you got to queue up mm-hmm. but it was like your average you know you go to a festival the bar line's gonna be obviously you know massive but like yeah, it, I think yeah, I think it was fine the way it was handled. It was like everything was back to normal in a way, with mm-hmm. extra hand sanitizer. I think that, I think that's what I want to highlight as well because I think the way it was managed, the way it was staffed, proper shout out to everyone there it was amazing. It must have been so weird to have something so normal after like over a year of things <laughs> being weird. You, yeah, I probably would have been taking the precautions by accident and being like, oh, I don't have to do this. But yeah, I, I guess that's super exciting. So what do you have to do now post gig? Do you have to self-isolate or take tests or what? Um, well, so I've had to, as I said before, I've had to send over a PCR test. Mm-hmm. I've had to send over a bunch of PCR tests over to, over by post. And I'm still waiting to get that result back. But the day and today and the day before I got in, um, I did do some lateral flow tests. So before I went to college today, I done one. I mean, it was extra hassle getting up early, but like I, I made sure it was you know a bit better. But as you said before about um, it must be weird to go back to normal. In the beginning, when I entered, I did have my mask on, and I got pulled over by BBC, and they asked for an interview, and um, it got broadcasted on national news of um, me saying, "Oh yeah, taking my mask off, mask off, ready to go," um, and everyone messaged me. My history teacher was like, "said Hey James, saw you in the news today." Um, a neighbor said, "Oh, I saw you." <laughs> no, but yeah, it, it was it was weird. Like no COVID, like no COVID restrictions. Mm-hmm. It must have been a great opportunity to be involved in this pilot gig. Like it must have been so cool. But a lot. Oh, sorry, I keep interrupting. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, no, you say one hundred percent. It was great to be involved. Like I think the thing I said this in a different thing. Um, of, like when I was, yeah, I said it's still like an Austrian news report as well. Mm-hmm. But the fact that it's Liverpool, um, I think that's just, that's just great. It was it was like right up my alley, and the fact that it's something what I'm going into events management, and the fact that I've got an actual event coming up soon, mm-hmm. and this could maybe make or break the event. That was kind of the scary bit of going, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy it went on. Yeah, a lot is riding on the success. Mm-hmm. So. I'm sure there'll be plenty of information coming out and we will hold our breath waiting on how it will influence our planned summers and end of the year full of music. But thank you very much for sharing your experience with me and good luck with your test on Friday that you've got to take. And um, yeah, thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.